Hey guys, this is Dash from Ninja Land Games on YouTube. I started playing Guilty Gear Exard Sign about a couple weeks ago. It turns out I was actually pretty successful in my starting of Guilty Gear. Over the years, I've played so many fighting games, so I feel like I've got some pretty good experience on how to jump into a new fighting game and be very successful at it and be able to go online and win matches. Basically, I use a strategy to level up my skills very quickly. Pretty much this is like a beginner's guide for Guilty Gear Exard, but you could use these skills for a lot of different fighting games as well and or just different games in general. All right, so uh, you're gonna go right into the main menu here. So basically what I did immediately was I went into the options menu. You can check out your button layout. And the main one right here is this the game options. And the reason why I'm turning all the way down the difficulty is because I'm gonna go play arcade mode and I'm just playing it as quick as I can. I just wanna play through all the characters real quickly. So I just put on number, I put on one round. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to learn each character's moveset and also pay attention to like the, the range of each character. But mostly just trying to figure out which character am I gravitating towards, which character do I like the best? Which one feels most comfortable to me? With the first character that you're gonna main, and when I say main, if you're new to fighting games, that means that's the character that you're going to use to learn his moves, to learn his combos. Yeah, so I just went through, played with the game with each guy. I started to gravitate towards Slayer right here. You gotta find a character that's right for you. I'm not saying Slayer is right for you, but for me, I was feeling like Slayer is the kind of style I like. I like aggressive. He had, he had good combos, he had good damage output from what I could tell. The next thing you want to do after you do the arcade mode or before you do the arcade mode, you can do it either way, is you want to do the tutorial right here. So the tutorial, basically, it goes over every kind of mechanic in the game, every kind of move in the game. It's your, uh, you know, it's going to have unique stuff to Guilty Gear that's a little bit different than Street Fighter. So you do want to go through each one of these very carefully. You want to read all of the text in them. One of the main ones in this game that's kind of new to fighting games in general, a lot of these are the same kind of stuff that's in maybe the previous Guilty Gear games if you played them or not. But one that's really uh, interesting to the, and it's new to this one is this Roman Cancel. The point of the Roman Cancel is to slow down time. You're actually slowing down time. Normally he'd be able to block those extra attacks that I gave out, but because I'm using this Roman Cancel, I can do further combos. So it's something you just should be aware of right now. And then, so after you do the tutorial, you wanna go into challenge and um, you're gonna pick the guy that you're interested in. Now you wanna just go through all these moves, familiarize yourself with these moves. And we got this one. Ooh, ooh. So then you start getting into some harder ones. So once I did, I can't even do yet. The main thing that you want to get out of these is you want to know what your character is capable of. Uh, I go down into one that's really, really hard like this. I can't do this. But what I can see is that he can go dandy step, pile bunker into Roman cancel. But you're going to go on to other ones too that are harder. And you just want to be able to see, okay, if I knock him in the air after this, boom. I'll be able to do that kind of combo up in the air. And so some of the other ones that maybe are too hard to do the full string of them, just knowing that they're there, and eventually you want to go back and, you know, master the character, but at this point, you just want to get a general idea of what your character is capable of. But the real smart thing to do in learning your character, what I recommend, but before you jump into ranked matches, is actually go onto network and go into your lobby. So I'm in an empty lobby in Guilty Gear. It's interesting to have a world map mode kind of thing going on. Why I came into this lobby is not to fight any player matches or ranked matches. I actually came in here because you, this is a really important factor about you getting really good fast. Okay. And that's going to rankings. Click on rankings. Check out the rankings. Okay. These are the top players in the world. Okay. These are really good players. Okay, look at this. Right number three, we have a Slayer right here. That's the character that I'm trying to main. You're gonna want to go find a character that, that you're trying to main as well. And there's different characters. Don't say that. Don't think just because your character's not up there high that he's not good. For the means of this video, for a beginner, you're gonna want to come on here, check out your character. Okay. You're gonna want to look at some some of the top fighters that use your character, and you want to click on their profile and look at. So you get replay data right here. Okay, so you want to download some of these replay datas from this character. I'm going to download this replay data. You want to see how people are playing that character at a high level. Okay, so we found a replay here. Let's check this one out. And it's of a high ranked player who plays Slayer. We want to watch and see how this, this high ranked Slayer player plays. Okay, right now we can see all sorts of stuff going on. You might, you're going to have to watch these replays over and over to figure out, you know, some different combos, what's going on. But as you see, he was doing rush down from the top very beginning. He's dashing in. He rushes down with the... Um, which is the triangle move, different uh, uh, techniques all, all coming all around. He uses dash to dash in. He didn't even attack with it. You see that? 
So you, you just want to make take note of all these different things. Oh, look at that. Boom. He went into a... He used a, a Roman cancel to do a big, huge combo right there. Look at that huge combo stream he just did. So what are we learning from this? Basically, the high-level players know what they're doing with different characters, okay? So take notes on what they're doing, and then you're going to go back, and you're just going to try and remember what they did. Either you try to remember it, or you take notes, or whatever. Okay, so after you figure out some different moves with your guy that you picked, after you figure out what works with your character and some really nasty combos from high-level players, and you can go on YouTube to find these as well, but I, I prefer to look at live games. I prefer to look at live matches going on um, about who's really good. You're gonna go into training. Okay, so now that now we're that we're in training, and now you just want to test out some of those moves that you saw, some of those combos you saw. Maybe you take one or two combos at a time from a video, and you just practice doing it. Okay, so one thing I saw was this combo right here. Well, that's a decent combo, 118. But one cool thing I saw was the Roman cancels. Players were using Roman cancels more than they were using maybe like for example their supers. Like look at his super. It does, it does 90 damage when it hits. Okay, so doesn't do as much as like a really good Roman cancel combo but in this game Roman cancels seem to be working best okay so I know another combo that I saw was you grab them and then oh see look at that see I'm already picking up stuff from the higher level players and uh, anyways be creative as well and, and and try to expand on maybe some stuff you saw you might want to go back and get some other replays see what other characters see what other people are doing with your character that you have Come in, train, 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 train. After you feel like you're pretty familiar with those combos, that's when you want to jump into player matches online. Just go right in, um, start going into uh, different lobbies and fighting people. See what, see how well you fare. Maybe you're not used to what your opponents are doing. I mean, the arcade mode kind of prepared you to other characters, but you don't know what kind of combos they're doing. So you just have to jump in and start playing player matches, see what's out there, but try to stick to your guns. Like, for example, when... When a character does a move that leaves them open, and you have the chance to unleash uh, your most powerful combo on them, stick to something that you're going to be able to execute and you're going to be able to pull off. And if you've practiced execution in training, lock in your damage at a certain rate. Be like, okay, if I do this move instead, I'll be able to pull this one off. So I'm going to I'm going to start off with just doing this move online. You know, you're going to you're going to be able to see what people are doing. Uh, this kind of works for any fighting game. Anyways, I hope this has been informative to you. And as you as you continue to progress on your characters, you know you're gonna go through rank match. You're gonna go into more player matches, uh, and you're gonna try and learn other characters as well. See what they've got. Maybe you want to switch your main, but you can use the same process that you learned in this one to kind of switch characters into a different main. Uh, if you feel like you're stagnating, it's probably because you're doing the same combos over and over, and you're not learning anything uh, new. And the main things you want to learn new is uh, execution is important. A big factor is is like when to counter hit and when to um, like how your comp how your moves might knock different opponents out of their moves as well. Anyways, this has uh, been a Dash from Ninja Land Games on YouTube. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you again in future videos. But I might put some Guilty Gear gameplay up of some of my ranked matches I had online. So, anyways, look forward to some videos in the future, and uh, thanks for watching. There's a really great fighting game community. You can check out shoryuken.com. Many, many gamers on YouTube. Talk to you later. Bye.